Now with 6.1 so incredibly close, it just seems like it's going to be right around the corner. There is a reason why you should be stockpiling gill right now. And even if you haven't been stockpiling gill, you can start today and be ready for the new housing plots that are launching in 6.1 Ishgard, the Imperium. Now, there are a lot of changes coming to housing and the new change of the lottery system. I will be putting together a full housing savage guide in order to learn how to buy a house and everything you need to know after the live letter that's coming on February 18th, 2022. I want to give a huge shout out to my new Patreon supporter, Alicia. Thank you so much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. And because of you, I am able to put out content like this. I just want to show my humble gratitude. I wanted to put this video out so then you guys know that if you want to get a house, you should be start saving your money as housing can go anywhere from 3 million to 50 million, depending on the size of the plot if you're buying personal or for FC. With the introduction of the lottery system, anyone is going to be able to enter that lottery system, whether FC or for personal, for the lottery ward. So you wanna make sure to have the money up front. Now, is this new system as well as the new housing going to fix the housing crisis we're currently having in Final Fantasy 14? Probably not. This gives us another huge pot of land and many, many, many houses to choose from in order to get into the new housing system. Now, new players might think, well, I'm not anywhere near buying a house or I'm not far enough or do I have to beat the game in order to buy a house? Absolutely not. You only have to have that main story done up to that point. So you'll have to be completed in Heaven's Ward. I don't know the particular quest you have to complete, but as long as you're done with Heaven's Ward, you're going to be able to buy a house in Ishgard. The only other thing you need to be worried about is having the money as well as you'll have to make sure to have your grand company rank at either Second Storm Lieutenant for Maelstrom, Second Serpent Lieutenant for Adders, or Second Flame Lieutenant for Immortal Flames. I have a video on how to reach that rank. It's pretty easy, just takes a few hours. So I'll link that in the description box for you to watch after this one. Other than that, anyone is able to buy a house. It's not for people who have completed the game. One of my friends in Discord is a success story. He just started playing Final Fantasy maybe four or five months ago, and he is a grinder and has completed the entire game, and he was able to purchase his own house. And just so then you can get an idea of how it works, initially for the pricing, it's going to be anywhere from 3 million gil to 3.7 million gil for the small plots. For the medium plots, it's anywhere from 16 million gil to 20 million gil. And for the large plots, it's 40 million gil to 50 million gil. Now, the medium, the large plots, they are a lot more competitive because a lot of people want uh, bigger houses, but for the small plots, in my personal experience, when I showed up to try to purchase a house for a small plot, um, there was only maybe 5 to 20 people there, which kind of seems like a lot, but it's all based off RNG, which I'll go over in the future video. But getting 3 to 5 million, and I say probably 5 because after you purchase the house for the initial pricing, you'll need to purchase a construction permit, which is a million as well. So... I would say if you're looking to buy a small plot, having around 5 million at all times, you have a pretty good, you'll be prepped and ready in order to buy a house when it comes around. Now, other than this, all it takes is hard work and determination. When housings pop, they are on a 24 hour timer. Between that, there is a hidden timer that will pop that is completely RNG and it will be a small window into when you can actually purchase the house. This is why many people call housing, buying a house, camping, because you're gonna be there clicking on the placard over and over and over again. Now, there are some tips and tricks to this. Um, one of those being prime time. Statistically, a house in Final Fantasy 14 usually sells between the 10th and the 14th hour so that is when you usually see most of the people camping now it can sell before that and it can sell after that but generally how housing sells it has sold between the 10th and the 14th so you can use this in order to do four hour increments of camping because like i said you're just going to be sitting there clicking buttons on the placard to purchase that house and hopefully your first now it does 
feel as horrible as it sounds. You're literally just there and you're probably watching Netflix or something else while you're clicking. There are certain methods you can use in order to make this easier, like rebinding some of your keyboard or rebinding a controller in order to make clicking easier, which I will cover in the future video. With all this, you can't buy a house at all until you have the money. So start doing everything you possibly can in order to make money for buying a house. Comment down below some of your favorite ways to make money. I'm going to put together a video for people because there's just so many different ways to do it. You got to find out what works for you. And I wish you all the best of luck in this housing journey. And I will see you soon in my housing savage guide. So then you can be prepped and ready to get your very own home in Final Fantasy 14. I want to give a humble thank you to my Patreon supporters. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to put out regular content like this. If you guys want to watch more Endwalker tutorials, then you can click here.